Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and- You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, he'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. How long was I out for? Fifteen thousand three hundred and thirty-eight ticks. That's... that's very specific. The betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. 
Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises. Gizmo's rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah, wah, wah. And then the monster comes a running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. What do you think elusive means? No matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are going to drive it right into our arms. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done uh, strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go. Rocket crew, Drax, get in here. We're going in. We still have a few ticks before the next time window, actually. The next one? Nova Corps security guard resets every rotation. We want to be in and out before our code expires, or we'll get stranded. If we wait for the next reset, we'll get a full rotation to do this. Nice. <laughs> oh, why's the Nova net still up? Thought we were going in. It appears the Assassin's contacts are as untrustworthy as the Betrayer herself. Oh, please don't tell me Gamora's backdoor codes are bust. We nearly went broke getting them. Relax, Rocket. We still got a few ticks before the next time window. The network just reset. You can enter the sequence, Peter. I still do not understand why I must remain on board with the Assassin. Oh, because you're part of Green Team. You assigned me to the team before you named it. My skin is not green. It's teal. Teal? What? Listen, if we want to trick the monster into going inside that mining rig, we need to place thumpers on both sides. Two sides, two teams. That's our cue. Let's go, Groot. <laughs> Don't worry! Once the thumpers are placed, we'll meet in the middle, and we'll capture the monster. Together. Very well. Thumper one, done. It's just... Man. Uh... Well, that's concerning. that? Uh, it's a swarm of old cleaner bots. Maybe. Old cleaner bots? You don't know.
You okay, buddy? Feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah, don't worry, Sunshine. <laughs> sunshine. Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken! Ain't nothing broke! That's the sound it's supposed to make! What sound? You can't hear that! Hear what? What the flark is that? Definitely not a monster. Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state of the art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. Now that is a monster. Alright. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Thing I got I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal. Now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Middle name. Hey, Krell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? <laughs> Funny story, actually. The nav crapped out and routed us through the quarantine zone. Your navigation malfunctioned. What can I say? As soon as we noticed the air, we plotted a course out, and that's when you showed up. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of Planet C-53, under Galactic Law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship, even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. You slept with a cop? He wasn't a cop back then. The point is, I can get us out of this, guys. You just gotta trust me. Oh, and that would be your boarding party. But no. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. 
Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here, prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. You're now fall in line. Hey, no way kid should be here. I'm an official trainee. Ah! Ah! Thinking. Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how rounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar is secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. Overreact. You always overreact. For the record, I didn't mean overreact like in a bad way. I mean like celebrating. What a moral person of conviction you are. That is not what you said. I don't care what he said. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. 
Initiate not lockdown. All good for systems go. Activate. Voice print not authorized. Just trying to help. We don't need your help. You're the last person we need help from. Well, you clearly need some form of help if you're trapping us in an elevator. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything! No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger. And that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. She has a passkey thingy. You have a what? I saved your life. I saved your life. Hand it over. Disengage lockdown. Lockdown disengaged. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Ma! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewie. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on, when have I ever... You won't regret it! Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 7,963 units short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. Reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling the Morse crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always there. Holding out My on figurines floor. are not knickknacks. Uh, guys, I think we should hear out group for once. I am Woot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Fu. It was brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Hoot. No, you don't! This ain't something you can pretend! I am Hoot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Oh, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster with him. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? Are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am good. 
I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flarkin' infinity bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, rodents? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you cool? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we mean business. Groot, you ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill. There's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me. I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy? Menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad. Not bad. Whoa! <laughs> okay, whoa, whoa! A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. Have like a campfire song or something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called. Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is please stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.6 clicks. clicks. For the love of life, stop, stop counting, counting clicks. clicks. Could enumerate all the ways Starlord. Look out with the starry eyes. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole 
hate myself. Where does time go? Thirteen horns. I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Whatever. Right. Spare me your empty Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you mean. Do not blame me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tarantara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or... Suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite... forceful. You got this. This for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. Hey there, hi, Star Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's, he is just kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wish to hear Kerr's whine, 
I'd visit the feeding pens. Nine thousand units for the Flora Colossus destroyer. Nine thousand five hundred and thirty-seven. For the cage. Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. You guys were supposed to wait for me. You took too long. I was establishing an alibi. You were flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions bed. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. These guys go, they go hard. They're heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. So my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything! Groot! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in the flat. Whoa! Hey! Let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. It's too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two... Last witch scripted you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but I twinkled the toes. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Oh, crap. Guardians of the galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend, yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller, feast upon them! We still need to get 
get out of here and fast. Everybody strap in! Now that was a ride. This is no time to celebrate. We have made an awful mistake. And an awful amount of cash. There is no escaping Lady Hellbender's wrath. We'll see about that. What the? us to the end of the universe. Who gives us, Skype? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot. You got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. It's weird. Money all that you think of, right? No, I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze? Nikki! Thank you. I really want to There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thing? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. He's fighting. Try marrying the band? First thing I try, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? <laughs> you think something has happened to the girl? Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. can you start that song? I'll go check the array. <laughs> The llama thingy. A llama. Who gives a flying scut? The gold domes didn't get rid of it, and now the array's flocked. I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us? Yeah, okay. That's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scut about the Milano. Look, guys, we need to talk. Luckily, I know a guy on nowhere has got the parts for me. And he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. We cannot abandon the child. The behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires drugs is probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Moore's right, we made a promise. We made a promise. It's even a pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. Looks like your girlfriend held up her end of the bargain, Quill. We know for sure it's her. Checking. Same designation as before. It's definitely Hallis Hope. Oh, what are they doing to my ship? Relax. Standard Nova Corps procedure. My ship's fine. Which part? Ask Quill. He's the one who keeps crashing. Door 
was flarked. We ain't going back that way. I thought the Nova Corps had more ships. I heard they got uh, staffing issues. From who? People. In places with uh, other people. Peter Quill. I found this. Sector 1, check in. Sector 1, sweep complete. 75% acceptance rate. It is as she promised. Have faith. The promise will be made real. Proceed to Sector 7. With faith. Well, the good news is we're not alone. There's lots of chatter. Tell them I want my ship back. My ship. I sense there's a butt. But it sounds like they're searching for something or someone. Could explain why no one's around. Well, who gives a flark? Tell them to get their golden butts up here. Uh, hey there. Is this thing on? We're, uh, we're looking for Centurion Corral. Who is we? We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We were supposed to meet Centurion Corral to pay a fine. Hello, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would be more than happy to assist you today. Where are you now? We're, uh, we're in some sort of monitoring station. Understood. Stay where you are. We will come to you. Well, what did they say? They're coming to us. Where's Centurion Corral? Have faith. She is not with us at this time. Have faith? Really? Anyone else seeing a purple glow around these guys? I do not trust them. There's an alternative plan, now may be the time to execute it. I understand your confusion. We will set your tumultuous souls at ease. Come, Guardians of the Galaxy. We will take you to the Hallas Hope. Then you too. All right, we shoot our way out. Wanted the Zoomer out of the air! Indeed. You don't say. Guys, Corel's ship is right there. We just need to... What? What do we need to do, Quill? A whole bunch of whacked-out space cops just tried to vaporize us. And you want to go looking for a rematch? Because your girlfriend might be in trouble? That's not what I'm doing, and she's not my girlfriend. Could have fooled me. Rocket! The only thing that this is about is getting our ship back. We find Corel, and then none of this is our problem anymore. You're right! It won't be our problem anymore. Because we didn't sign up to be run around halfway across the galaxy by a, a cop love and heal me! I am good. Come on! Seriously, Corel? Join the Guardian, she said. It'll be good for your mental health, she said. <sighs> Alright. Listen to Flark up. Groot and I are getting off this dast rock. Anyone who'd like a ride can follow us. Everyone else can go to hell! Come on, Rocket. You can't stay mad at me. Wanna bet? Not after the last one. How about Maybe you? Girl took her ship back to Xandar to report. Look. Are they praying? What the hell have we wandered into? Check out that big guy. Don't look like no Nova to me. He's a sorcerer. Behold the magic flowing through the altar. There's no such thing as magic. Right? Come on. Let's get moving before these whack drops spot us. It's like we stumbled on some creepy cult. I told you, it ain't our problem. It will be if they've taken over Nova Corps. No Nova, no fine, no problem. 4 PL, done. All right, bay is clear, extending catwalks, and... Flark! What's up? The clamps won't release. Those whack jobs must have triggered a lockdown. Can you override it? Wouldn't be much of a lockdown if I could. I can hold her in position and get the engines warmed up. Get ready. Move, move, move! Coordinates. They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come.
we got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, by Hard Nowhere? Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star-Lord. Either way... Get him! Woo! Hart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks. But we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter, shoot now! We need to keep them separated! I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So, he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. 
sick. <sighs> oh, shit. <gasps> no! failed your mission miserably. Peter Blue. A big mistake. I'm innocent. Cosmo, are you out there? Cosmo! I reckon Cosmo, I really need to use the bathroom. Yeah, get your mitts off of him. Oh, look, butter just scratched me. Oh, I'll do more than that. I'll murderize you. Uh. <laughs> hey, guys. Didn't expect to see you here. Yeah, cram it, Flatnard. Flatnard? Yeah, and a scruff crew in one, too. Shut up and get in there. <sighs> Come on, dude. What's your problem? You are. That's why we quit. <laughs> yes, you did. Now stop talking to him. Rocket, buddy, come on. We had a good thing going. You and Groot are better than two-bit bounty hunters. Scoff. What did you say? I said scoff. You don't say scoff, you just scoff. Oh, so now I don't express myself proper like? Rocket, dude, woof. We should have buffed you in when we buffed the chance. <laughs> like, buff we are. You don't, woof, woof, woof. What? You rough in front of me? I told you a bajillion times, I'm not a roughing animal! What were you talking about? You Sorcery. Is this? Where are we? You are of being still on Nori. Cosmo! How you doing, buddy? We were just about. <laughs> Guardian of Galaxies will tell Cosmo why they broke into Continuum Cortex. Or Cosmo will conjure worse psychic Gulag. Broke into the... Do not feed Cosmo Cat Biscuit's Peter Quill. You work with Blood Brothers. Create distraction so Pesky Raccoon and Sentient Tree Friend can use Continuum Cortex. Cosmo also know Guardian of Galaxies have Nova Trap. Okay, I'm sure it's just one big misunderstanding. Right? Right. We're here because something happened on the no Ooh. Guardian of Galaxy were on Nova Rock. Strange transmissions spreading across galaxy. Like rabbits in springtime. Cosmo sent many team to investigate, none return. Now Nova Rock sending same signal. Guardian of Galaxy will tell me what they saw. The Nova Corps were killing each other. It was like they were drinking funky juice or something. Or joined the cult. Yeah, during that ritual with the priest. They kept talking about a promise. <laughs> Fraternity and Raptors. Cult of the Negative Sounds. Universal Church. Whoa, 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 stop! <laughs> that's them. That old man that's with them. Shuttle exploded on the Hallis Hope. Grand Unifier Raker. 
leader of the Universal Church of Truths. That name ring bell for Cosmo. He's old cult. Very powerful during Galactic War. Now, not so much. You said the rock was transmitting a signal. What if the religion were somehow... And yet, the Universal Church of Truths died with Gold Skin God. Let us investigate the Hallows Hope for you. What? You said none of your teams returned, right? Seems to me like you're short-staffed, and we want to find out what happened as much as you do. We do. So let us investigate for you. Always a catch, Peter Quinn. And not, not fun kind, kind with ball. Ball. <laughs> What Guardian of Galaxies want in return? Simple. Drop the charges. Contact Nova Corps HQ and get the world mind to forgive our fine. Then we'll go. It's not being so easy. <clears throat> Face it, Dog Breath. You need us. Us? For now. Unless you got someone else stupid enough to go. In Soviet Russia, Cosmo would not trust words of capitalist scum. But this is not motherland. And Cosmo no power of collateral. Guardian ship, stay on nowhere. What? You can't take our ship? My ship. How are we gonna find the Hallow's Hope? Ask Pesky Raccoon. Now come, essences of time. Exactly. To original settlement. From early days. Before Kivan could come. You mean the first mining colony is still here? Duh. Now abandoned. Mostly. And highly restored. Step in ball. What if things go sideways? How do we get back? With passport. Can communicate with Cosmo, and if emergency, bring Guardian of Galaxies back. I would. Better you take it than Captain Valor over here. This time, investigate Nova ship. Use passport to report findings. And you'll speak to the world mind? Get rid of that fine, right? Cosmo the best. Good luck, Guardian of Galaxies. Anyone see any seatbelts? You better not throw up this time. <sighs> Sorcery? I was going to say dizzying. Get used. Hope. Probably. Clark, <gasps> help! Clark's breath. Okay, here we go. Uh, fine, I'll tell them. Listen up, slug breath. Tell me what you see. Uh, there's a blue wire and two connections, yellow and red. And one big green thing. Don't touch the green thing! Not a great time to start yelling, dude! Okay. Okay. First, plug the wire to either connection. All we need is a little jump start. Gravity was not restored. You had one job, Quill. I did exactly what? Uh. Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are. No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this.
Guardians of the Galaxy. You misread our intentions. No, you've made them pretty clear. I had to check. Groot, write the stars. Grand Unifier. Breaker. Right? First, let me just say it's really cool that you've heard of us, right, guys? And it's cool that you didn't try to kill us just then, especially with your two pals right there. You could have totally ripped us apart the moment you walked in, which we obviously all appreciate. But also, we've kind of got a few questions, like... Where are Centurion Corel and her daughter? You came here seeking truth. Rejoice. The Matriarch wishes to share it with you. Cathian warriors often ride into battle completely naked. Keep your pants on! Oh no, it could be used as a distraction. Yeah, no. Any other ideas? Can you froth? I can froth. Can you twitch? Yeah, I'm pretty twitchy. Alright, on my cue, you drop, froth, and twitch. While they're all distracted, we take off down one of them side halls. What about me? You, well, you know, you, uh, take one for the team. But if he's first in line for brainwashing, I gotta say... Is that what you think? That we're brainwashing? We've met your recent converts. Overly zealous doesn't even begin to describe... They them. have embraced the Matriarch's promise. A life-altering experience, yes. But one that must be freely accepted. Quill, his drone. It's her ticket out of here. What? How? What are you two whispering about? Actually, we were just admiring how huge this place is. It is grand, isn't it? Belief in the Matriarch restored it to what it was before the war. Just as her promise will restore everyone we lost. Mothers. Lovers. Sons. This promise. Is the dead? Of course it won't. We can't bring people back. We can't. But the matriarch, the divine vessel. I got an idea, but I need time. Stall him. What? <laughs> Come. Join me. If I intended to kill you... Wow, oh, oh, okay, that... Uh, that is a cool trick. Wanna explain how you did it? Sorcery. I can understand how some might see it that way. But I used science. The science of faith. Faith is not science. But faith energy is. This skiff. My inquisitors. Even Sacrosanct herself. All powered by the same miraculous energy. Energy I discovered. I'm going for the drone. Keep him talking. But now? What? What is it? It's just, um... You, uh, you, uh, discovered stuff, and you claim to, uh, control energy. 
faith energy. Uh, uh, hold on a sec. You, uh, uh, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. You have a, uh, you something on your face. My what? Yeah, it's like this golden oily thing on your, you know, face. I was disfigured during an explosion. One of the many tragedies for which I blame him. So, you were saying... Wait. Weren't there more of you? What? No, no. No, <laughs> no. No. Nope. I mean when you said them just now. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? And could you maybe talk some more about it? I was talking about him. The healer who could not reverse the death of my son! <laughs> you! Get off that now! Back with the others! <sighs> what? I was just admiring- Silence! <sighs> it's time to meet the Matrix. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Thank you, Grand Unifier. Guardians, you may approach. Peter Quill, order your offspring to come down from there this instant. Maybe I'm out of line, but aren't you a little young for a dress that short? Aren't you a little old to write your name on your clothes? Uh. Took you long enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, chatty grandpa gets. Hey, we're gonna get you out of here. Just follow my lead. But this is where we're supposed to be. We're gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save them, I promised. Come on, snap out of it, kid. You're just saying what he wants you to say. Whoa, whoa, hold on, everybody! The just... girl is clearly not herself. Of course I am. But I'm more than just me. Where's your mom? Mom is here. She's right here. Inside me. Oh, thanks for clearing that up. The light... joined us. I thought she was gone. But I can bring her back. They're all waiting... for us to bring them back. All we need... is faith. The Grand Unifier helped me understand. This is one big con. Trust me, I know a thing or two Why about- Why can't you just believe in me? Why won't you just listen? Nobody ever listens until I show them. Mom! What, what's going on? How, how is this possible? You saved me! That's how! I knew you would never leave me! I, I, I didn't, I mean... Look at you! Look at you, all grown up! 
and into the great leader I knew you would become. <laughs> Peter, I am so proud of you. Your father would be so proud. I, I don't understand. I, I saw you die. Am I... Can I go back? You are here. That's all that matters. We have all the time in the world now. You and me. And your friends, too. Your friends? Sure. The house is plenty big enough. And I want to meet this amazing team of yours and hear all about your incredible adventures. <laughs> That is... You don't know how bad I've wanted this. Oh, nothing will ever break us apart. I promise, Peter. I promise. I can't believe I have you back. Let go of me. Stop. Stop. <clears throat> don't believe it, Peter. This isn't real. She's being tricked. She never should have been here. What she saw. I don't know how, but the three of us are connected now. That thing, that thing has her, but she can still be saved. She has to accept my death. She must. Show her how to let me go. Free my daughter. Save her. Please! Child! Get the matriarch out of here! Now! By rejecting the promise, you have proven yourselves unworthy. And you must be destroyed! Relay. I'm gonna take it off this heap. So, uh, how long is this gonna take? I'm gonna need your help. Sure. All right. Just stand right here. Okay. Perfect. Why are we pretending we did not witness what we witnessed in the ceremonial chamber? Because the promise is an insidious lie. How can you be certain? Because I wanted to believe it, but I knew when I woke up it... <sighs> We'll all be gone. What did you see? My mom. My life. There was something else there, too. A shadow. Yeah, exactly. Whatever it is, it's using the girl. Probably fed her alive her own. About Corral. I know she's. The fucking Scott Dog! What? That was completely intentional. The Milano's on her way. Thanks, bud. All right, let's split before the Faith Brigade realizes what we did. Next guy, but we barely got out of there alive. What about Gamora? She, she made a choice. So you're just gonna abandon her and Nikki? What if it was Groot? You gonna leave him behind too? Don't talk like that. That's not what this is about. Isn't it, though? We're supposed to be a team. Teams don't leave people behind. Tell that to the giant Kratakan army of robots and brainwashed believers we barely got away from! Yes. How'd 
did you get back? It doesn't matter. I failed. Raker lives. For now. We have to go back. We can't leave Nikki there. What he'll turn her into. Blah, blah, Flark and blah. So you got stepdaddy issues and had a horrible childhood. Ooh, Rocket! What? It's true. Guess what? You ain't the only one here who had it bad. It don't mean we're angling to commit suicide because some pseudo-priest nutjob is doing surprise nutjob stuff. If we go back there, we're dead. D-E-D! -E -D, dead! Why is your group? I'd rather die with honor than without. Crawled up her butt and died. I am good. So, get the Flark out of Dodge? Not yet. We should try to get a hold of Cosmo instead. I am good. Great plan, only he ain't answering the passport. Okay, but what choice do we have? We don't have comms. Well, actually, we uh, might have comms. It turns out they weren't as Flarked as I originally thought. Really? Groot should be able to race. Okay. The girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Open the channel, Groot. Let's see what's going on. They're ignoring them. No. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flarkin' deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. The galaxy cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the Promise is sweeping its systems, converting, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has, has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Praxis 9, Rigel 3. 75.222% of the Andromeda galaxy. galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They, actually, the world mine is a collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. So are parts of me, and you better not call me an it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well, how to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Corps helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is ill-advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? 
Our primary directive is the preservation of Zandarian culture. All else is secondary. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That, that is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads? We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. We merely police it to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. We have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons. The church is stockpiling resources. Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We cannot adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is logical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Core? It's, it's not magical. But well, yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The, the living, living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. Force. It, it exists because, because we exist. exist. And we exist, therefore it, it does. does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Raker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. What is it? Not what. Who? I am Warlock, the church's original golden god. Unfortunately, he perished. In the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Chomp Quill. I know. Petro's promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! Scott! Whoa! What, what the flark did you do? I don't know. Why have we stopped? The loser legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. I'm good. Guys. It's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Nice. And how are we gonna do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh Ooh. yeah, and without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys! Enough! Just stop already! I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagon- I don't care! Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. <sighs> I 
need some rest. Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. It took you long enough. What? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but... Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I... I Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh... Not exactly, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just, I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because they're our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. You'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. 
Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey! We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no, not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well, Flark, Quill. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Where is she? Where is the matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! The men are lost. Rocket, a little help here? Ugh. <laughs> Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omfad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> we'll find it. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on. The creepy cave's this way. The what now? The creepy cave, where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad, very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take fruit. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. 
Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <gasps> <I am old. laughs> and we're in! one. You'd say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where is the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay. This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech. Not dead. 
I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Yeah. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Not the gravity of your treacherous trespass. You cannot quell a god. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... I am your father. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa? Are you all right? Maria, it is time to come home. Best little one. Mother waits. Insidious succubus, release your thrall! It's not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. 
Rax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big lug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. <laughs> Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. You do not know what you ask. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. By destroying my home. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. We got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drag, Slav. It is time to eat. I get it, man. They seem really special. They are the only thing that matters. My Hovat. Was the most fearless mate I have ever known. He brought me peace even during times of war. My Camaria. My innocent little Camaria. She was the best of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both were. were. My family is gone. What sits before me? I don't know. But it's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion. Fed by desperation. Without it... I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. You're not alone, man. We're here for you. We've all lost someone, Drax. But it gets easier if you surround yourself with the right people. I am Groot. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a team. Papa? Are you okay? Join us, Drax. It's not her. Are you hurt, Papa? Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time that we lost.
How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. I owe amends for my lapse in judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. You quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half of my own, the darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black blorf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? Mortensen, why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downer, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you... What's oh, going? Flark. Oh, Flark. They've got the cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. Why does that sound like you're not coming with us? These are my people. Some still survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I'm needed when I need to be. Thanks. Just trust me. Don't go dying on me. I'm starting to actually get you. Cosmo? Mm. I guess that explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. Don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Hey, old traveler. Have you accepted the truth of a divine promise? We have. My deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch. Rally's regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. 
Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great! Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now! He is a man of action. It's not garbage. brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos! It's about Nikki, and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually... I kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted... She loves us. <laughs> I did not. You did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Guardians of the galaxy. The matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. And you shall not stop her. 
She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kinda hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops. All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to happen. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! What the flark are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this flea bag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... Take him out, before it's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus, you're mine. Easy, bud. Friends, remember? Is Piotr Quinn? Cosmo knows never lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmo smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. <sighs> He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you say? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden, just... Walkies for going, and the ball for fetching. Nowhere is your home. Right here and now. Nowhere is nothing. Dead heads, mind for scrap. It's way more than that. This place is special. I am good. If by men you mean I saved your bark, then... Yeah, we met here. It's true. Nowhere was first place since Earth. Cosmo not feel like stray dog. First time Cosmo forget what was lost. This place is a haven for misfits like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. 
but yet. I lost my family too. My mom died right in front of me when I was just a kid. Then Piotr Quill should know. Cosmo would work like dog to his family leg. If they are part of this promise, these humans are most assuredly dead. Do not be swayed by the bribe of their return as I was. Promise is only empty until fulfillment be. Perhaps it's Katadian who lost hope too quickly. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Piotr Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo not fictionalize. That's it, buddy. You tell him! Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family, will protect the dog cause. And they're making the hand direct all the galaxy's faith energy right into him. Fulfillment has begun. We gotta get her out of there, but how? Free the hand, and they lose power. I count four cables. Let's pull them out. Just stay away. This is why I don't have kids. Nikki, this isn't gonna end how you think. Says who? You? I saw what you did. You should want to take it back. I can feel the light inside me. Promise will be fulfilled. Does she not realize her plan has been thwarted? <laughs> A minor setback. Isn't that right, Grand Unifier? Cortex was meant merely to ease the burden on you, Matriarch. We shall retreat to... Please, give me an excuse to kill him. Is this him? The first divine vessel? A pale shadow to your magnificence, Matriarch. Let him watch me do what he could not. I'll draw faith across the entire galaxy myself if I have to. If you think you can handle... I'll handle whatever it takes. Nick. Damn it! Eh, they ain't getting far. I got a tracker on Golden Boy's butt. You what? Yeah, I tagged him back on the bridge in case he ditched us again. We just gotta get back to the Milano. Rocket, don't ever change. Yeah, we're totally gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. Sure, it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. War! Hang on to something! Show off? 
Hey, if you got it... Okay. Oh, a little bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> Laughing, that's good. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how Quo parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, 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 we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> oh, oh this is insane. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Fu? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. Truly glorious death. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're a part of something here? Oh yeah, part of Foom's all-you-can-eat buffet. I mean, walking in the footsteps of Drax's people, out here to save the galaxy, makes you want to believe in destiny. I'm not trying to kill the moment or nothing, but everybody listed here was destined to be monster chow. If we all die, we will die like proper Katathians. If we all die, everyone dies. Magus is gonna consume everything. Then let's catch Foom and make sure that doesn't happen. So, uh, where is he? Maybe we spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. Triumphant! Who must fall in? We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! 
the two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. The... I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! Mantis, you sure you could fly her? Hang on, maybe you should... Two arms! The enemy approaches! Golden boys this way. Come on. Yes, we're going out into space. We got no other options. And I got a theory. Yup, artificial gravity. Figured a ship this big would need it for repairs and stuff. <laughs> this is so cool. Hang on. Okay, go, go, go.
look, they get the Adam Warlock channel all the way out here. Speaking of Goldilocks, he should be right on the other side of that giant murder bot army. You've got to be kidding. They've got it locked down with a faith shield. Think we can unplug it like we did on Nowhere? It's worth a shot. Aggression by the Universal Church of Truth cannot be tolerated. Lethal force has been authorized. Surrender will not be considered. Holy Scott, they came back. Guardians, breach my bindings. Even now, Raker readies his restoration ritual. Rocket, can you bust him out? If I gotta... Let me guess, Raker's power proved more pernicious than predicted? There is little point pondering possibilities past, daughter of Thanos. Soon feverous faith will flood Raker's fledgling and feed the fiend with it. Not gonna happen. We're gonna shut it down together. Right? Right. Okay, let's go, people. Come! Time dwindles as we dawdle. I could put him back up there. Don't tempt me. Rejoice! You made it just in time for the miracle. Grand Unifier. I trust you can hold them to bear witness. Easily. Crazy, we're in there. Nikki's on a loop. Nothing I say matters. We need to find a way to get through to her. Peter. I know, I know. We need a plan. There's no we. Okay, I get it. I have a lot of making up to do. Peter. If we're gonna do this... I'm dead, Peter. Yeah, but... Not like dead, dead. Right? I heard your voice. No, you brought me here. I'm seeing you here now. 
You're seeing a ghost. Some part of me is inside the Soul Stone, but not in any way that's real. We can figure it out. Maybe we can no. find a way... You need to focus on her now. Help her accept that I'm not coming back. I just... I wish you would have told me. Told you what? About Nikki. You know? You, me, 12 years ago. Oh, Peter. I did the math. Her promise isn't real. Yeah, I know, but the rest of it is. Right? You and me on Mercury? I remember that night. So do I. But she isn't your daughter. She's not my daughter. I don't understand. She's a war orphan. On the shuttle home, the Cree Council was rounding up anyone who wasn't full-blooded enough. Nikki was this... Tiny little thing. I couldn't let them kill her. So I'm not a father. No. Well, not her father. Well, okay. That doesn't mean she doesn't need you. She has to let me go. I tried. She won't listen. She has to. The birthday, the presents, whatever it is that's keeping her attached to some fake version of me, of us. Destroy the illusion and make her listen. You know I'm not equipped to. Yes, you are. You have to be. I know. Why are you even here? You're right. I'm not gonna pretend to know what you're going through or what you're feeling. I don't even know what I'm feeling. It's like... empty... and heavy at the same time. I keep seeing her, but then as soon as I focus, I... Is this what it's always going to be like? I don't know. It's different for everyone. But there was no one like your mom. She really... I really loved you. I need her back. I don't care if it's not real. I need things to go back to how they were, even if it means making the same stupid game for all stupid eternity. Just the thought that she might come back is better than admitting that she never will. And that... And then it's all my fault. You're not the reason she's gone, Nick. Don't put that on yourself. Why not? It's true. If I had just... It's not true. You didn't make that thing. You didn't release it. You're not the reason your mom was where she was. There's a lot of blame to go around, but there is no way you deserve any of it. I don't hear anything. Seriously? Hear what? The knocking. There's clearly someone at the door. Or something. So let's just say that the creepy thing at the door is not my mom. I can do that. Am I just supposed to smash cakes all day? 
Breaking stuff is pretty cathartic. There's other ways. What are you doing? It's an earth thing. My mom taught me. The idea is that you light something to remember someone. To pay tribute. It's not magic or anything. It doesn't bring anyone back, but you know, it's it's a gesture. A small thing in the face of a very bad thing. Sometimes that's all we have. Thinking back to the elevator, and she was angry at me. Not that angry. More like uh, lovingly concerned. Hey, whatever happens, you're not alone. Okay. There is something I do have to do alone. Focus on Raker's fan club.
Behold before you your benevolent guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> it is done! Okay, okay, we'll give you this one. Shall we? Our adoring masses await. The limit, I guess. Clearly, it is not. We could rob a bank. We are broke. No, I am not robbing a bank. That's illegal. And super fun. You are corrupting the child. Relax, Drax. It's a suggestion. A potentially really lucrative suggestion. <laughs> you okay there, Gold Bond? It is irritating indigestion. <laughs> Nothing of note. Okay. Well, there's a bathroom in the back if you need it. So, Mantis, now that the universe is safe again, what are you gonna do? I don't know. I guess I'll go back to Lamentis. Although, I hear Earth is really nice this time of year. Maybe I'll go check out Contraxia. You can gamble there. Uh. Shouldn't we give Contraxia a bit of time to, you know, unpromise? Either way, it is no place for a child. <laughs> Seriously, man. I feel simply... Is consumed by the bad thing and tries to destroy the galaxy and probably succeeds. Why does it feel like bug girls inside my head? I'm inside all of your heads. This way, Magus can't overhear your super amazing plan. Which is? Oh, no. It's better if it comes from you. Him. Me. Destiny makes three. And we're all gonna die. My final form, the new norm! The stone. When that thing attacked my mom and me, it was terrified of the stone. Yes, I too have sensed its fear of the stone. Oh, yes! The ancient stone! One of the six! It's the only thing strong enough to contain the all-powerful soul of Magus! Oh, 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 okay, uh, so we just gotta get him uh, closer and then throw a magic rock at him? Exactly. Tiny, whiny, vexing specks. Woohoo! What are you all up to? Mantis, how do we lure in the big bad? It's time to kneel before the new I By do. doing what you do best, Guardians. No, nah, not being friendly. I think she means aggravating. It is us. <laughs> do it! <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! You're applauding him. I'm clapping ironically. Does he know it's ironic? <laughs> yes! Applaud! Your God. Nope. You grant nothing but lies and false promises. And you're the worst! Then why are you clapping? For mocking you, idiot. What? I said no! Oh, <laughs> 
He's got to be okay. Right, Mantis? The important thing is that he did it. You all did. This was not his sacrifice to make. Get paid? <laughs> Not yet, bud. Does this mean it's over? Like over, over? The Magus is contained for now. The most insatiable entity in the galaxy is once again a prisoner of the Soul Stone. All that is left is determining what to do with it. Sell it. Destroy it. Those are both terrible ideas. <laughs> he says we should combine both ideas. Stone is neither bomb nor bauble, and not yours to bear. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just tried to kill us and eat the galaxy. You cannot contain this calamitous force. I created it. I am its keeper. No one can keep that thing. Mantis. The chances of the galaxy being consumed again if we keep the stone? Very high. And if we give it to Goldilocks? Not as high. The child was correct. That perhaps the pull of its power would one day split my lone soul asunder. But I am not alone. Uh, just to be sure, the chances of the bad galaxy thing happening if we sell the stone? Astronomically high. The best way to make sure the Magus doesn't get out again is to make sure together. You know, the second you feel any indigestion, I shall call upon your crew. Motley though you may be, I fear we've fallen friends. <laughs>